Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can minimize your form um, to the system tray when the form has been minimized. And a common problem with this is that when you click on the button, the taskbar button for your program, when the program has focus, the program minimizes. And you do not want it to minimize to the system tray when minimizing in this manner because it's unexpected Windows behavior. And I'll show you how to work around this. So basically, um, there is no Windows state property changed event, so you're going to have to just write some code in a resize event, either on size changed or on resize. And because whenever the Windows state changes, the size change changes of the form. So on the res in the resize event here, I'm going to talk about the typical uh, logic to get whether or not the form has been minimized. So if this dot window state is minimized, then we want to hide the taskbar button, show the notify icon, and then hide the form. With this logic, um, it's pretty basic. Whenever the form is minimized, it's going to the system tray, even if the f you minimize it from the taskbar. And uh, we're going to simply add the boolean up here and cursor not in bar. So this is the only way I could figure this out to fix this problem. Whenever the cursor is in the taskbar when minimizing the form, we want to minimize it normally. Otherwise, we want to minimize it to the system tray. I've gone about several other ways, but this one works the best for me. If you find a better way, then tell me about it. Okay, so I'm going to go over how I've gone about assigning this boolean here. So I reference the screen class, and then I'm using the get working area method, passing in the form, and this is going to get some bounds for the working area that the control or the largest portion of the control is within. So um, this pretty much works. I tested it on uh, the multi-screen, my multi-screen environment, and did various tests uh, minimizing the form. Turns out pretty nice. And so I've got the bounds for the working area. The working area is everything except for the taskbar down here. Um, in my case, and pretty much everybody's case, um, can't really think of an instance where this will not work properly. And then I'm going to say dot contains cursor position. And that just says if the cursor is in the working area, then return true. So if my cursor is in the working area, then it's going to re return true on this bool. If it's in the bar, it's going to return false. So again, you want to check to see if the window is minimized and your cursor is not in the taskbar and that's when you want to minimize your program to system tray.